Hey, get here. So today we got the run heavy ebook on offense in Madden 20. It, in my opinion, is one of the best, if not the best, book for fighting the meta or setting its own meta with its own plays uh, in the game. So if you would like the written version of this, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gutfox. Uh, it's free with Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime, otherwise it's $5 a month. Uh, but basically, once you subscribe, you can get access to the ebooks. I'll be sending out an email in a couple days with them. If you want that beforehand, it's already linked in the uh, Discord. So join the Discord link below, and uh, it, you just sync up your Twitch and your Discord accounts, and it's in there for you, along with the uh, Jaguars offense, 3-4 uh, Ravens defense, and then also... What was the, uh, the the Raiders offense coming through? And I think that that might be it. This might be a third ebook. Raiders will be coming soon, along with uh, I think it's G uh, Panthers defense. So let's get right into it. The best, most powerful formation in the game, the one that I used the most when I when I was using it. I've since switched over to Oakland to provide you know more content. But HB stretch. Do you see that RPO alert? 9.9 .9 average yards on it. 248 calls. Yeah, that's just all head-to-head. -head. Like, I don't really use that play during... I don't think I use that play at all during solo. So, averaging 10 yards of play in online play. And then, you know, you see the other plays here. So, I, I got a lot of use out of the book. Uh, but we'll go through these ones, break it down individually. Uh, but, of course, you can always get the quick reference if the guide... Or if you have the guide, you can follow along with me as I explain them. So, this halfback stretch, as we all know, is very powerful in the game. And this, this play basically, um, I, I would say... Probably the best addition to this book this year. It wasn't in the game last year. These RPOs. So we're gonna we're gonna show it a lot against the meta. We'll show it against generic stuff too. So generic cover three. What you all all you have to do, and we'll put my defensive player on on a middle like a lineman. So basically, stretch is very powerful. If you let it play out, you can get off the end, juke out a guy, so on and so forth. But if they're kind of like committed to that side, that's what's nice about the RPO. You have two lead blockers there for Edelman. And then you just kind of run up the field again, make a guy miss, or don't if you got my bad jukes. But basically, it allows you to kind of exploit both sides of the field. So guys that are like heavy blitzers, if they're really coming on you, like the t pinch buck O's. Oh, wait, that sounded weird. But if they're really coming on you, um, you got you got basically one on one with Edelman once you're two blocks set. Otherwise, you just get off the edge here. So for heavy blitzers, that's not a bad idea to stretch over the edge. Or you can also there's a toss in the book right here too. But again, that same man blitz. I like to throw around blitzes i've been doing it for years with either swing screens and this year great with rpos so this rpo uh beautiful you see my block missed which made it hard to juke but generally the blocks downfield and the receiver it doesn't miss that often so we'll just throw it again so there he's picked up throw it a little bit later um uh, and we got like 15 17 yards right there off that play so single back trio that is basically your bread and butter make them stop that play make them know about that play after that you have pa solid corner which looks like this. You can drag door set, streak that. Usually I like to go to the wide side of the field, but he, he, we'll just we'll just let that play out. It's basically a lot like last year's play. You look to B if that's user, you look to Y. The pass rush will come in a lot tougher this year, so Y sometimes isn't good enough time to develop, but uh, that's kind of the way the game that we play is these harsh pa pass rushes. Um, verticals, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about verticals against blitzes and stuff in a bit. So there you go. You can always ID or, or double team a guy if he's got a superstar or something. Uh, generally, sometimes double blocking your running back is better. So B is open, otherwise Y is right there too. And then there's a good little tip right there. So you see how I got that diving animation? He miraculously got a stop animation. Watch watch Y right here. I, I, so if you have a fast enough guy, watch Y in the corner, okay? Watch that, co that, that, that corner, that superstar corner. If you're fast or tight end, you can just pass lead that outside. You see how that corner kind of gave up on the pass lead? If you have somebody like a Kittle or a, a super speedy tight end, you can sometimes expose that guy with a pass lead outside and a one-play touchdown because he just doesn't seem to respect it versus the crossers. So know that you you know you have to have protections and you have to have fast. But whereas like Lacoste right there isn't very fast at all, so he's not the greatest. You want a fast uh, guy to, to basically um, a fast tight end to kind of clear be a clear out for you right there. Otherwise, there you go. Um, there's two plays out of the formation. Let's keep going. Smash Texas. I want to be our next play. Smash Texas is really nice because there's a lot of setups to it. Um, there, there are. I think I have six. Yeah, six setups in the ebook for Smash Texas, and I'll go through a bunch of them right here. So Smash Texas right there. I'm actually gonna put in a drive wheel as an audible, and so I like to set my audibles with halfback stretch being one of them. Dives a good audible. PSL corner is the other one. And then you just smash Texas. I, I like Drive Wheel, I think, as my favorite audible. Those are my four audibles. Slot Chase is really good, too. 
Um, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But let's do right away Smash Texas. So what do I like about what do I like about Texas concepts um, in this game? Well, Texas Contact. Uh, this has a corner route that will get open. It's got a nice little sharp corner. So if they go man coverage, uh, you, you you want good route running here. But otherwise, like if you have a superstar pass rusher, you can always block him. Now watch Edelman against man coverage. It's a heavy blitz. And you see how he gets out there? It's a good way of beating a heavy man blitz that right there. Otherwise, post post patterns. Do you see why? Do you see the post in the corner route from the elite route runners? Those are really good. Those are really glitchy against almost every single coverage, especially man coverage. The post corners just win. Just win. So you want to take advantage of that a ton against heavy blitzers. But right here, we watch the, the plays play out naturally against cover three. Watch the tight end itself. Do you see how it doesn't get matched there? You can make that pass because the, the cover three corner didn't really like match him that well. So that's a really easy pass. And then everybody, like why I don't love angle routes. I think I heard like maybe Chaos say this before. It's because you, you sometimes get you sometimes get your eyes locked on it. And I, I feel that's true. A lot of times when people throw angle routes out, they're like, all right, I'm just going to throw the angle route. Angle route's very powerful. But the, uh, the opponent's user know it's very powerful. So what do I like to do here? Sometimes I like to make my... Uh, route like that if i'm going against cover three i'll use door set to clear it out and then gordon um i'll put gordon on like an out route so this is basically cover three beater you want edelman to be as slow as possible or bad route running so that way the psychic cover three corner doesn't react to him that well but we'll play it out just like this we'll block our running back sometimes i like to do something like this sorry put him on a, on a curl and then i can low throw that curl too so here's one possible setup for here and then D pass lead like a like a what uh seven o'clock pass lead fall over there is a good cover three beater but if they go cloud flats it'll be a little tougher to the sticks like this same setup so cloud flats you might want to go down to y right there but that's still it was a little bit of a long throw still completed if you get some good zip on that ball you can get it you can fit it in there very nicely um against cover two i like streaking gordon so if he comes out in like a cover two because the jam on the outside guy, although there's going to be a jam on Gordon here because of the non base line. So sometimes I like something like this too. Um, otherwise, generically, cover two is, is, is pretty exposed by out routes and corner routes going at the same side. So motion, motion, you can motion him in. See what happens here. Sometimes that guy on the outside gets sucked down. And then see how B, there's a little bit there, but that's, I guess, not very consistent. I wouldn't throw that. Um, it's better, on, like, I'll show you how to bunch how to do that. But that's kind of what you want to see against different uh, kind of abilities. All right. So number two setup. Max protect. Max protect. Fatum. Slant. Motion corner. Oh, I guess fade or streak that middle guy. And then you basically have three route football. And then you kind of like this. There. You just basically have two crossers. So that's if they're heavy blitzing you. You have two crossers. All right. Next up. Uh, streak or curl tight end. We'll curl them. Streak inside wide receiver. Slant middle wide receiver. In route outside wide receiver. So we basically change everybody. Whoops. This is a good, this is a good play too. This isn't the play I wanted to. Block, you can block the running back. This is not bad either for like uh, just gen generic crosses on the, on the playmaker with Tom Brady or, or hot route tips or hot route, not tips, but like, uh, um, what are, whatever you call them. I don't remember Uh hot route ability. There it is. So streak slant curl in route and look, Oh, 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 oh sorry. Let me reset it all. So do I have everything set up? Like this. All right. So, whoops. I'm using the wrong buttons to do this. Something like this. This is not a solid setup. So you go throw throw low to A, R B Y. This is some, just some stuff over the middle. Basically, if you throw that R B route, you'll have a lot of guys over the middle of the field. I think I remember how I wanted to do it. So yeah, like like this. Um. Quick throw to the slants, or the streak, or watch this. Once he goes back in, once he gets upfield, I got a couple blockers over there, and eh, they didn't really set up that well. That's actually not that good of a setup. I think that I think that's against heavy pressure. That's right. This is against heavy pressure. 
Now I remember it. This is my, like, if they're blitzing a bunch, you have so many different um, ways of getting the ball out against heavy zone pressure that you have a lot of outlets to get to quick. You did a streak. Uh, the, the, the angle route, the tight end, low pass. So you really got to play off the user right there. Uh, now I remember that. All right, next one. In route, outside wide receiver, streak the inside wide receiver, in motion, across. Okay. Oh, 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 no, sorry. I had to motion across the streak route. God dang it. All right, let's just say he's on the streak. So now we have like kind of an, uh, like a flood concept to the right. Uh, do you see how the tight end? We got Y. I threw it too far upfield, but you get what I'm saying. Like it's corner. You, you don't really need the clear out, but the clear out's there just in case you need it. Uh, so right here, motion him across and you essentially have a flood. You can always block the running back here. You have a flood to the right this time. So you can check it on a B. Otherwise A is it's, it's perilous, but those kind of passes are if, if uh, we have psychic DBs out there. Uh, but that was, that's kind of one way of exploiting it. So you got basically corners to one side or the other. Like I said, against cover three, Lacoste sometimes doesn't even react, like cross anything matched anyways. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like this is a solid play too. If you just low throw those tight end corners, those are very hard for people to um, kind of react to. So like this is just consistent. And this has to be user, right? This very, okay, I guess he got tackled. But generally that has to be user because they go down so fast, so hard. So you can either low throw it right away at the snap. Oh, he is in, he is super starred up, isn't he? So you have to either low throw it at the snap or wait till he gets to the edge of the field. And Yeah. Yeah, I kinda like I kinda like those setups. I, I read the other one. The other one's not as powerful as the ones I just showed. Alright, next play. Drive wheel, right here. This is perfect. I love this play. My natural setup, streak B, slant Y. So this is a pretty good setup. You can also put Dorset on an in route to kind of delay him a little bit more um, to get a little bit more separation. But basically, you're watching the user. The the, the defender the defenders generally don't play that route very well. Um, like I said, if you pass lead and hit uh, possession, like I didn't do there, you'll get a better animation. So let me show it to you. So basically, the guys down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa shoot! I, I forgot to uh, audible the play. I do it one more time. So basically, this is targeting the tight end. Drive wheel, streak, slant. What did I, did I slant him? So it's like streak, slant right here, okay? Let's do it. And then uh, pass lead. And then you see how I get that diving animation? Pass lead like nine o'clock on that, and then hit A for possession catch, and you get that over and over, and they don't they don't uh, react to you. Kind of, a, kind of a very glitchy, cheating type D. I called it wrong, I forgot that, I forgot to audible again. Um, so the tight end is very powerful in this formation. Uh, streak. Yeah. You could also, also, this is really nice. It's just a straight up wheel route too. Like if they go like this play, this the, wheel routes are powerful this year. So just know that. So if they go into something like man, and they try and press you just like, or, or any, they don't even have to press it's, it's man coverage. Like watch, watch the wheel route here from Edelman. See how he burns it upfield? I just got sacked like crazy. Van Hoy's going to have, he's having a crazy day and a crazy uh, real time. But do you see how I got extra separation there in the wheel route against man coverage? You guys know how powerful that is. So it's also got a wheel route in this formation. Um, that got good, and a good separation. Maybe you get worse separation against guys that have better man coverage, but just know um, that is a, a wheel route. You can go wide side of the field too. So I put it, I put it short side for a different play, uh, but I just wanted to show off the wheel, because Edelman on a wheel, powerful. So the next play I wanna go through on that same trio formation is the promised slot chase. All right, so let's get into that against a regular still cover three here. So slot chase, it's okay at the goal line, low pointing Edelman, it's a pretty solid play. Otherwise, other goal line play, like if this was against the goal line, um, this is kind of the setup I'd have. I guess we can go down there, um, but you want to be to the wide side of the field with your wheel route or else it doesn't really matter. So like if you're over here somewhere, we'll just put it right there. Uh, the center of the field, actually, I don't know what, I don't know. I, I don't really use this a ton. I know it's effective-ish, but like something like this, 
Um, you can leave that Dorset on that same route there. But either way, you're going to throw it to Sonny Michelle right here. Um, right off the backfield. So let me try it like this. Oh, no. I hit the wrong button. Uh, that meant I meant to hit that to right, right bumper. I don't know why I threw that to B. But that is me being terrible as a Madden player. So, like, flat route your tight end. Wheel route your running back. And this is kind of the setup. So watch him. This against cover three. Usually you'll see a lot of cover four. Hit him right there, and he should be able to cross that threshold of the goal line. But according, like, like, I, like I said, the wheel route only goes to the wide side of the field. But the other side of the field, the Gordon and Edelman routes. Watch the Gordon, watch the Edelman, and you just throw it low right here. Uh, generally, they'll be in a hard flat at the goal line, so that purple route actually played it. But like, say, well, I'll shade it underneath right here. So, so sometimes it doesn't work. But like, see how he goes right there to a sensitive spot. Sensitive spot. That's even working against cover four and everything. So you have two ways of attacking them on the goal line with this play. Otherwise, just if this was down the regular field, you could throw this as is, Gordon to the trail, uh, depending if they blitz you. Otherwise, you can you know you can always throw it to tight end quick if we're in the middle of the field. All right, let me go back to the middle of the field. But that's kind of a uh, a play I wanted to show. This next play called spot is great against uh, like cover two, and generally only cover two. Cover three, I don't really see it working that often. Uh, but let's let's get let's let's bring it up, uh, and this will be the last one in this playbook. But like, like of course, I'm not gonna show off runs that much in this ebook. But halfback dive, toss, like I said, stretch. You want to use those a lot, but I, it's just like dumb. Just make sure when you're running halfback dive, if you have a right-handed quarterback, hand the ball off to a running back to the right side of the field. If you have a left-handed quarterback, hand it off to the uh, left. So depending on who your quarterback is, your dives will be more effective handing it off to the handedness of the quarterback. All right, smash. I showed smash Texas, did not? Yeah, I showed smash Texas. Uh, spot was the one I wanted to show. So if they come out in like a cover two, I guess I can go nickel. I'm in three four. It doesn't matter. Tampa two, and then like look at Gordon's route right there. It's pretty solid. I like to streak Edelman quite a bit. Uh, the running back's blocking sucks. And then like you could do something like in route your tight end. You can do a lot of things right here. Ooh, I guess I said that. Um, like this. All right, if you don't have that playmaker. But, like, Gordon kind of gets to, like, a, a, a funky place of the field if you pass lead it up. It's, like, right in that. Sometimes it's better than others. Otherwise, if you really want to get a little bit more separation, you can always smoke screen or, or do other things to keep Gordon down. Um, yeah, I like to re-block the running back. I don't like that. Last year, that running was really cool. Um, and then there you go. Sometimes I can click on and make a play. So that's a risky throw, but just to let you know, it is sometimes there against cover two. It gets open if you pass lead up, but again, they can they can sometimes make miraculous plays in this game because they are crazy DBs. All right, moving on. Single back ace. There's a ton of single back ace that I got for you. Single back ace. So, like I said, runs in this book. You always want to use them. Halfback slam is okay. Uh, like I said, hand it off to the side of your quarterback. You got a halfback pitch there. You got a stretch alert looky, which is nice this year. I really like those lookies. Uh, wide receiver quick, fact, fake, fake, fact. Fake jet halfback dive and then the, the, the PA fake quick are, are pretty good too. I don't run these a lot, uh, but I know they're powerful. Tight end cross. Say you're going against a guy that's that's blitzing a lot against you. Say you're in the, say it's in the big dime one four six. Um, some of these some of these plays are pretty good. So like they blitz the linebacker, press, and they got like the contain blitz going on. Okay. Um, so what can you do against this contain blitz? Well, you can either run the ball. You're under center, which is always a good idea. You can max protect and do something like this. Depends on the cover two man. Uh, but let's just play. Let's let's just see the max project out. Otherwise, you can, you always have another route right there. Um, see how it matched. So, I would always recommend having a third route on the field too. I feel like if they man match like that, um, oftentimes they won't man match because they'll be in cloud flat, so they readjust their, their secondaries. But otherwise, uh, block block one tight end, and then have two doing stuff. So same thing. Blitz contain. Oop. Press like I said. So there we go. We're in the contain blitz. Sometimes they'll use their safety, shade over the top or something, and then here you go. So I'm doing like this. You had like if you so this is hard, it's hard to do a little QB movement on um, two controllers because I was playing on the defensive controller right there. But you had do you see how you had a couple guys open? Uh, so basically the, the trick is here uh, getting that block picked up. Like you would have you would have gone to the left a little bit in the pocket. Your running back would have picked them up. Uh, yeah, that was kind of weird. They didn't actually attack that well. But regardless, quick throw to your tight end. And then your in route right there. So that's a couple of, like, obviously when you're going against that stuff, 
you want to do different different plays against that hard blitz right here this isn't this isn't the one formation i go to to stop this i think i go to the other formation um uh, the if i was if i was playing against that specifically a slot's pretty good against it uh, again the stretch alert but i like the plfl stretch um a few different plays right here otherwise gun gun it's specifically designed to shut down gun and gun runs but the gun run on ace i i don't know if i should be jumping ahead just based off meta we'll just go off different plays for ace um versus just regular stock coverages first then we'll talk about that blitz uh, as we kind of go along but tight end cross um is a good play here again we'll just do regular what do we want to do cover two i don't know i don't know what you guys have more trouble with cover two or cover three but i like this going kind of to the wide side of the field uh, then you can just out route him or zig route him and then uh, deep in on Gordon as like a as like a comeback so like this is kind of like a crosser so right here and then Y is open you just got to kind of lead that up a little bit further I pass led like at three o'clock if you pass lead at like uh, two o'clock you might get open All right, so like this, out route. So it's basically another crossing pattern that you have like a little check down there to A. There you go. Wow, they're making some nice plays there. Uh, but like I said, fast guys on the field is what you want to get to that uh, more vulnerable position. But uh, that that Edelman bomb ish, you have that, that's kind of a kind of a pretty decent bomb. Uh, but I don't really use it, right? I, this isn't my bomb against cover two. I got a better bomb against cover two for y'all. Yeah, do you see how it gets kind of like the vulnerable in the middle place where that be? Uh, so it kind of hits a sense of the spot of the defense. Otherwise, we have maybe I should come, maybe I should do the most powerful. For, no, I already did the powerful formation. We'll go we'll go formation by formation um, for the ebook rather than uh, just going through the best ones first. We'll go down the book. All right, so tight end option in. All right, play this one. All right, streak the tight end on the right. Drag both wide receivers and oh wait i'm using the wrong there we go dang it there we go so like this so it's basically post pattern streak pattern and drags it's a very this is like the concept you use when you don't know what else to use in madden the post pattern for y is okay gets to an okay sensitive spot like i say do that do that exact same pass lead uh dive animation i, I hold spec catch there but you can hold possession catch there so that's always great for for check downs and everything uh block the running back so yeah, i like to have six blocking so that way i can always have something to like kind of like pick up a blitz if i ever need it um see there you got a better chance of getting the ball knocked down so that's that's uh one play right there um right here against man coverage if lacoste is any any speedy like a, a better tight end he's pretty good against man that uh does really well um let's let's try block let's say let's say it's man coverage so i went to a man blitz right here there you go you guys know wheel routes so he just he just slow as balls so he can't do anything uh otherwise you can streak slant this oh wait, wait wrong play same same ace wide receiver stretch streak slant yeah, so you can just look levels here. Um, drag tight end. Oh yeah, drag tight end on right and look levels. Yeah, I can also drag tight end on right and look levels. But here's another play: slant, slant, slant. A. I threw it right when I was getting hit. Uh, not a good idea to run away from that side of the ball. You generally don't want to roll away to make the pass longer. But I feel like I was getting pressured. So don't peer pressure me. A so I receiver stretch. You could drag him, and then you got kind of like a levels concept. Izzo's, I don't know about Izzo's route right there. You can do a double drag. Y, Y, and then B's up here. There you go. So there's a few different ways. You got basically what's nice about this is between the tight end option in this play and the tight end going left to right, and this play with the wide receiver going right to left, you got two sides of crosser. So I don't know how the user will respond, but sometimes they get confused and are not able to, to stick with it if they get distracted by other drags or whatnot. But you have different routes going different ways to attack different sides of the field with this formation. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'll look at the rest of the ace, ace books. That way we can do a little general 
overview of it before we move on. Um, yeah, slam doesn't have the, it doesn't have like a super super glitchy route. I mean, there's a couple ones that are decent, like low pass the tight end again with the double hitch. Uh, but yeah, the stretch alert looky. I've showed kind of like you know what a stretch alert looky is, right? You see this a lot, a lot on, online a lot. Um, there you go. Depends on how, how well they're blitzing you, but basically people have to sell out to the to the stretch. And you you see this a lot of eye form too out of the bubble. Um, sometimes you see a little bit of stretch alert looky too. Just be wary of downfield penalties if you hold it too long. So there's the stretch alert looky, and of course if you just let let the stretch play out itself, it's usually pretty good. Um, even though that wasn't good right there, I got uh, really good penetrate, or they got really good penetration against me. So that's 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 a very powerful play too. But I'm not going to go over too many run plays in this ebook because it's a lot easier to run the ball than it is to pass the ball, and it's more fun and hard to, to pick out stuff. But like I said, wide receiver quick. Those ones have been in the game for years, always solid. Wide receiver slot. Um, it's it's okay this year. I have a, I have a thing in the ebook about it with the PA fork and the inside cross the inside cross can be very glitchy i've seen somebody use the same this one person played the entire game running nothing about inside cross i had the hardest time stopping his offense between blitzes and uh laying off everybody there was always an open play you got two drags uh, a route that sticks in the middle of the field and a post route over the top along with the wheel route it's very hard to call everything if you read everything this is a very solid play pay corner it looks more powerful than i feel like it is like, if you look at it, you're like, wow, this is actually not too bad. Uh, like, we'll try it against Tampa, too. All right, so if you, like, put him in an out route, Lacoste, maybe play him to the corner. So you're like, okay, this, this could be a little good. Maybe do a little baby in on, on uh, Gordon right here. And then you have, you have multiple spots to go. So A is open-ish. Yeah. But it's like, it doesn't feel spaced out enough. So even though it looks like it should have stuff open... I feel like it's not quite powerful. You know what I mean? Like that corner right there is playing like suspiciously well on both of these, right? With how zones are reacting. I feel like he could he could react, stop this guy for only a couple yard gain and pick the ball off for this guy. And then these routes, even with the baby in and this one right here, it's really it's really close to being user too. So while I feel like it should be good, it's it's it doesn't feel good enough and it, it feels like a high risk play. So it's not one that I love. All right. After that wing slot, like I said, it's less powerful than I want. I want to show uh, trips Y slot. And then we'll go over to A slot. Yeah. So we'll do trips Y. So East, I'm going to ignore East. I don't love East because if Wham was better, this would be glitchy. But Wham isn't that good this year um, from my testing of it. Quick pitches is okay, but that gets a little bit hard on the, on the, the um, whatchamacallit. Uh, sheds and, and, and guys can attack you pretty well. PA Flood's got a nice route there on the left side of the field. But overall, I feel like it just, it's just a little short of a glitchy uh, formation. Like if the vertical's X cross, if that was a wide receiver instead of tight end, might be better. Tight end angle's okay. So like I feel like it's, a, it's, it's an okay formation. It's, it's, it, it can be used. I feel like it's not quite there because it doesn't have the stretch. Single back bunch. You guys know how to run single back bunch. I'm not going to get too much into it. You got four vertical Seattle. Is, is kind of sweet. PA boot over. That's a good one play touchdown against cover three. I guess I could show that right here. Um, I think, I, do I have that in the book? I'll show you that in the, I, I don't know if I, yeah, no, I don't have, I don't have this in the, the ebook right now, but it's basically the same concept in all bunches. I have it in gun bunches. I like the protection in gun bunches better, but this has been something we've been doing all year, right? So block Y, streak door set, Edelman. I, Edelman should be something like your fastest guy, like Randy Moss, and then come back on Gordon. And it basically toasts cover three. You want to run this generally to the short side of the field. And uh, if he was faster, he would have had a touchdown. But but do you see how much do you see how much ground the safety made up there? That was absolutely insane to me. Just look at this. Look how much ground the safety was able to make up on this cover three beater. So he's right there. Watch him react to this. He's look he's looking at the receiver. See, he's looking at 73, or what is it 13? 13. He's looking at 13, and he's able to react to Tom Brady throwing that ball psychically, because this game's dumb as shit. And yeah, so if this was if this was fast, if this was like the the mosses of the world, that'd be a reception and a touchdown. But because he's able to run further looking away from the ball than my wide receiver, it's not. But basically, that's how you get over the top of cover three deep corners. Um, 
But Seattle, you guys know how to run four verticals out of a bunch set. I don't have to go through that and the, the glitchiness of that against man. PA end around split, not that good. Not that good at all this year. Hasn't been really powerful since Madden 15, those PA end arounds. All right, so out of bunch, trips Y slot. This is the cover four drop beater. So this beats, destroys three, four odd cover four drop shelf three, two. So this is basically block your running back and then you wait. Wait, right? Like, okay, another one I'm, I'm run with Edelman instead of Moss or somebody better like Gordon. So that's that's the cover four drop show four. So if anybody's running that or spamming that against you, oh, just instant one play touchdown them. Like I say, run it to the short side of the field this year for these beaters. But basically wide posts with these kind of routes underneath will suck down that uh, safety. I like to pass lead it. Um, I would say 10 o'clock ish uh and then uh, after the pass lead i generally like to take over the b player take him over and run him myself you sometimes you, you get glitchier uh receptions you just kind of have to practice how to like quote unquote swerve out that d but you definitely need somebody fast edelman is not the receiver that's going to make that work for you so if you're running with shitty receivers expect shitty luck to happen to you all right trips y slot what's great about this is it does have a stretch um, so if you're if you're feeling pain here, halfback stretch, right? Halfback stretch is great right there. Um, what's the other one look like? Smash is okay. PA slot wheel. Like I say, wheel routes are great. Um, yeah, you can do the comeback wheel route thing out of this. Comeback route on the far right, wide receiver wheel routes uh, will make the comeback route be open, and then it would do whatever with the tight end that you want. But wheel routes for man coverage. Y trail, it's an okay play, the slot drive, eh. Um, but that's kind of it. Stretch, I, I really only use this formation for the one play beater. Um, averaging 32 yards, uh, which is solid for online play. Whenever I see it, I go to it. A slot, I like, like you'd think PA cross would be good, but it doesn't get enough depth on those crosses, unfortunately. But it's got halfback dive, stretch alert bubble, toss. So I think this smash is is pretty freaking good. I like, I like to run it to the wide side of the field. We'll say cover two again. Generally, I like the I like the the two wide receivers over there on the wide side, so that way there's some maybe uh, separation for that uh, corner route. But otherwise, you can run it as is. So out of cover two, throw right bumper right there. Otherwise, Y was open, X is open, B is open late here because he sucked down to the to the uh, other route. So there's stuff open, and, and really you just kind of have to make the right read. So again, say cover three. Now we, we go back and watch the tight end route out of it. And yeah, again, one of those open, non-matching tight end routes, which is really nice. Even though he's got, even with Superstar, the tight end still doesn't get matched. And it's, it's kind of a quick one. So like, check it out against like uh, man coverage, that tight end route. Again, the, the Patriots tight end Lacoste isn't that good, but here he is against man coverage. He's got a little bit of a speed burst. Pretty hot too. So that's a, that's a glitchy tight end route. Other ones. Um, yeah, that halfback route is really nice. Let me, I'll just throw it regularly. There you go. Get in, get into the flat. Next on this is, here's other setups. So if you block running back, drag outside wide receiver and tight end. So that, then you have a different form of this concept. You can always motion over Edelman too. So if you ever need to motion for any reason, here's another double drags in a post. A beautiful Madden play. Get over top of them if they're not using it. There you go. They might be able to jump in front of that. So you might want a little bit more of a... If you have somebody like Edelman, put him on a play, put him on a hot route post if he's your hot route guy. And then do it. Then do it like that. Right here. This is an even better one. Drag. Drags are open. Then B. There you go. Uh, but yeah, you want to you wanna set up the pass with a run in that formation. Um... Yeah, that's kind of what I want to go through there. So good, a couple good plays off the run there, or a couple good setups off that single back A slot play, uh, because the runs are so powerful. You want to have uh, plays in there. I forms, there are good plays in the I forms. It's just I don't know a fullback on the field. Come on. The what I do at the goal line though, stretch is amazing, and then you do the fullback dive to fake fullback toss or toss, right? That's basically setup. So like if I'm gonna go at the goal line, I'll replace X slant with toss, zone weak, make that into the fullback dive, and then one of those other two into the fullback dive. 
half back flip flip so basically what you're doing is you're able to attack the right side the left outside and the middle all in one play with the fullback dive fake fullback flip and the toss otherwise you can always flip the toss too right that's always a potential thing to do so i form wing solid i form pros okay it is whatever it's got a stretch but i don't know i like i like the wing a little bit better uh pro i mean i got things in pro in the ebook but it's kind of like holdover stuff man there's a ton of fucking plays in the ebook and pro but i never personally used it there is probably four five five pages no four pages of stuff in pro sets um strong eye uh tight this kind of stuff pro and weak and the, the, you can make a usable scheme out of it it's just i like the other stuff better so yeah i got four pages of plays probably i don't know a dozen or two wait 20 plays one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 plays out of strong and weak in the ebook. But like I say, I don't know. I don't I, I don't love <laughs> they're 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 if you like running the ball, they're there. But I've gotten so anti-meta, I'm just not gonna use them. Right? So if you want to see those plays, I'm not gonna go through them in the video because I'm don't wanna do it. I just don't wanna don't wanna do it at all. Just don't don't have that running focus type of mindset right now they're there all right subscribe to the twitch channel to see those plays and there's some really good powerful passes right there but okay going on to the the shotgun formations the sexy stuff we're we're, we're, we're tossers right now we're not toters we're tossers gun split slot is the first one right yeah split slot all right so shovel options kind of fun shovel option all right I've not been a big shovel guy in my life, not been a big option guy, but basically you run it by hitting LB or RB. So right, snap it, and then RB there for the option. That's exciting. You, you'll wanna have somebody like Lamar, obviously, with fast break, and then you can always hit, it, depending on what the defense shows you, pitch it inside, whoop. <laughs> if the defense shows you a guy inside, do not throw that ball inside. All right, that, that is uh, tip number one for Madden. We'll go to the wide side. Uh, they are in like a heavy set, so it'd be better to pass against this set, but Yeah, he's sitting on white just tip pitch it outside definitely I guess cover three might sit on that one on the inside a little bit better Let me switch to like say cover two. What was a cover two show? All right a cover two will this will this take out white too? Yeah, it did. Yeah, but you see how it kind of froze what's nice about this is it freezes a couple defenders Once it sets up perfectly it freezes defenders in place. This is like a beautiful play if you're optioning so watch watch these two defenders right here freezes looking at this guy this guy is the read defender here against these two so basically you have 62 that's hopefully going to lead up and block somebody you've got your your wide receiver taking down their cornerback another wide receiver releasing the safety so if i hold if i held that a little bit longer i just feel weird with tom brady holding it uh then you can get to the outside right there uh especially with a fast enough running back or if 62 is fast enough to cut off that linebacker if that user maybe hesitates for a second 62 can pick him up and then you're basically running like you you have so much numbers over here because you outpitch that guy this guy gets picked up by him and this guy's running the safety so the shovel option is powerful but like i say it's generally better to, to to make a read and not just blindly toss it one way or the other but that'll take some a, a little bit of discipline to get used to there you go i saw he got his, his shed block but make a move on him so that that's fun shovel options fun right and this game's got to be fun first and foremost next up even more po like passing plays that are that are glitchy pa wheel is nice because you got a, a wheel route for the running back but you can always get a wheel route for the running back right so it is what it is let's let's try it though all right let's just let's just give it a shot hit me with the best shot there's some better stuff coming up don't get me wrong so i like to i like to sometimes block burkhead right i like to send out only four routes most plays but right here, what do you got? Ah, pretty good levels concept. And then a wheel route. Let's let's see how it plays out on the field. B is open. A is open. X got matched. Uh, but that's basically you're going to have to read off the user. If they're in man coverage, that running back will get open. Uh, but that's kind of like how you want to feel. So if they're on the user, if they're on the user coming down to stop A or B, then X will get open. Do you see how X is getting over that? Whereas like the, the CPU matched them. But generally when users see something coming across the middle late, they will 
uh, end up uh, uh, match or going for that kind of stuff. So you'll have X open. Otherwise, Y is maybe open early. Yeah, we couldn't get it off. But that that like I said at the start before I started the play, not the most powerful play. Just one that can make open reads. You're gonna basically check it down to the drag almost every single time in that play. So that's kind of boring. Next, an even better play though, uh, will be this right here, slot post angle really powerful basically that and shovel options are the reason to run this formation maybe i should have let off of this instead of the pa wheel one but regardless it's it is what it is i'm reading top to bottom slot post angle you basically read the angle route to the post route and choose the one that's not user so they're both basically not unguardable by cpu but they're both very good against it so y is open and then a gets open all right solid beautiful cover girl you can also um drag the outside right receiver streak the left and then basically what you're seeing do you see how that that post route will get to a nice tender area you can block block burkhead or you can leave him out as a check down your, your choice dealer's choice and then a kind of gets to a sensitive spot you see that and then you kind of have that ball that's going to be usered and if, if it's not usered if, if it's not usered throw it at, if it is usered then you just check down to one of the check downs All, that's why you'll always almost always see me put drags on the field or short routes because you're basically reading down the field reading their user and if their user's right here you've got two guys this guy going that way into this sensitive area is my controller dying it feels really weird it feels janky and then you got the jack i guess he's not going to that sensitive of an area because this guy's here but like if this guy's usering him you check it here and you run for 10 yards whereas if this guy's usering this guy and he's back here you throw it to this guy or or the drag so there you go options 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 very easy reads in those ones just throw it to y take a couple yards there you go oh you can that's that's almost always there with the exception of it being usered then again even checking it down right there is a solid check down um paf slide is this here paf slide okay no, no, no deep curls this is this is really interesting i like it but it doesn't feel as glitchy as I'd like it to be. Deep curls is always nice, as long as you throw them low. But there are better curls in the game. Sometimes stock standard curls are better. But oh, oh yeah, against cover three, door set's really nice. Door set's really nice against cover three, two. Am I, am I in cover two or cover three? But basically, he's in cover three. Damn, that was psychic as hell. Throw it, throw it on break. I threw it slightly before break. But that's it. PEF slides, last one I want to show in this formation before going to the other gun split. So there's two gun splits. It's hard to tell the difference between them, so a lot of people think you're running the same thing. Um, I guess people that are like experts might be able to tell the difference between some of the plays you're running and it being called differently. And the play call menu, so I guess not that ingenious. All right, what I like about this is the post route. That post route on the right is kind of nice. So block Y, watch the post. And it did not work at all right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, that pill shot's really nice. Um, so what's not nice about it is my positioning on the field. I threw that. Do you see how he's 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 uh, sitting right on it? Yeah, that ain't that ain't so hot. That ain't so hot. Yeah, I, he's that's so weird. Whoa! What, oh, I hit left trigger. Um. That was weird how he sat on that. I wonder why this cover three specifically sat on that route. I wonder if I can do something like streak him or something. I don't, I don't get why he sat on it so hard. Yeah, cause he's like sitting like right there, flat footed. I, I, whenever I've thrown that route before, I've never seen that. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to take advantage of that because he's sitting on that route super hard. Maybe if I do something like, I don't know, this ain't going to work. Maybe I can motion them. Motion the line of scrimmage, throw a streak. I wonder if this will work. Let's try this. He basically, he like, he like bails out almost. Huh. I got over top of him, but that's not a very good cover three beater. Weird, 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 weird. There's some funkery there that we could probably take advantage of, but what if I go near side with him? Maybe near side's the issue. Maybe it's better going throwing low low near side. Low low passes are what you like at least. Oh no, sorry. Bullet passes. 
Wow. Wow. Okay. So he just literally freaks out. He like matches it and freaks out. How did I not see this before? Watch that deep third. Okay. That one wasn't as good. I, got, I think I gotta throw it down. Anyways. Uh, next up. Gun split Y flex. So maybe not as good as possible. The other two routes though. The other two plays there are very good. Um, gun split Y flex. Uh, I kind of like, I kind of like this backs cross play because it's got really glitchy, like, uh, you know, kind of curl plays. You just throw to one of the backs. The other routes in the field aren't that great. They're pretty standard routes out there, but the backs are really cool because the user might be playing that deep in route from the uh, slot. So then you'll just be able to check it down to a back and run it. Uh, corner strike used to be better in the past, uh, but I like, uh, the mesh right here. Where is it? Yeah, mesh. So mesh is pretty sweet. Um, if you motion the corner routes or... Mesh is cool if you motion the corner route or you do something like put him on a post, right? If Lacoste is a, if uh, Lacoste is a faster tight end, you can always you, you can take off that auto motion too, and then you have like you have mess posts out a bunch basically, and you basically have, you have levels like right. What have I said? Level concepts. You can audible him into a regular drag, so you don't have to do all that. Are beautiful. Just watch the user. Um, out of the same formation, if you're going against somebody that's heavy blitzing you, uh, like man coverage, out of that split flex, the greatest route in the world is that goes Y post. You have to have over 90 deep route rating. I don't know if anybody does, but let's check jo uh, Josh Gordon on it. But if you have over 90, sorry, over 90 release, and they're in like some sort of man blitz or man whatever, We'll just put them into uh, Overstorm Brave. You can, so if they, they press you. Watch Gordon, I don't I don't think he has the, the right amount of threshold to win. You can auto win if you have over 90 release on All Pro. So he did, wow. Did you guys see that? That was so weird. His safety kind of went and played me. This this can't, this, this is really acting weird right now. Look at 32 in this. He's in man coverage on He's in man coverage on this guy, yet he's going over there like he's playing him. Weird. Maybe he just got so fooled, like it switched off. But anyways, do you see how? Do you see how even in man press, he doesn't get pressed because he has that outside glitchy route. So in man press, you basically have an auto touchdown uh, with that if there's no help over the top. Otherwise, that also will work. I like having it sometimes at the short side of the field against even like cover two man. And you can kind of fit it in. Not you can. Sorry, I don't know why I said near side of the field because it works maybe better on the far side. But just watch it. Yeah, see how he got pressed right there? That is really bad. So we got pressed because he didn't have over 90 release. All right, so that's that's basically press man beater. That's the press man killer. Get yourself something like Moss, Jura Vicious, chem him up. Um, I don't know. You check a look at the Mutt database for other wide receivers with over 90 uh, release. All right, moving over to the next formation, uh, one that I like a lot. A Ace is good against, say, the meta right now. Do I have Ace? Did I accidentally skip over Ace right here? I did. All right, we'll come back to Ace after I'm done with the uh, Y off trio. Doubles, sorry, Doubles has a similar uh, un X under seam. You see that route on the far right, now far left. Same thing. I like Doubles better than the split formation because a lot more things you can do in Doubles. Uh, there's also Double Move, Double Sluggles, which are okay against Off Man. Uh, you'll want high route running for that, too. Wide receiver drag's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's kind of it out of doubles that I like. Basically, it's it's. I only use doubles for the X under seams. 103 play calls, 13.4 average yards. So basically, you run that, X under seams, then you put like uh, like post patterns, drags, in routes for the rest of the play. And if they don't press you, then you just kind of check down to the other, other plays. But that's kind of what I like out of doubles. Um, next... Y off trio. Here's a great cover two beater. I like deep in vertical tight end cross. Four verticals are always great, but like those are the two plays that I come to this formation for. So vertical tight end cross. This is good if somebody's playing you in cover two. Uh, we'll go against like this play right here. Um, this is like the meta. So now we're gonna kind of get into shotgun stuff to beat a lot of the meta. So the blitz here. They're really using. Generally, they're using one of these guys. Uh, but this is kind of like the blitz setup. They can always make adjustments and stuff. Maybe they'll bring them down or whatever. 
let's leave the defensive guy right there for right now. So watch Dorset. Max protect. Watch Dorset. He just destroys cover two. As long as you get the blocking. As long as that guy's fast, you basically have a touchdown. As long as they don't uh, either either knock him off his route with his with the user or user cover that. So if the user cover that, you're like, well, if the user cover that, then you're kind of screwed. You can always throw like a like an in route here. Sorry, to like Edelman, right? I think the is it the wide side or the near side? Let me test it again. I don't know off the top of my head. One of those two keeps the keeps the DB from going back and stopping you. I think it might be the near side, but let's try the like one of those. Like, give me a second. We're gonna go back to the lab because I forgot it off the top of my head. Uh, all right. One of them keeps that keeps that guy doing whatever. Oh, fudge crackers. We missed him. We missed him. And that's that's the great thing about the blitz, right? Is that your your blocking sometimes misses it. That's why it's so powerful. But basically, to beat this blitz, you gotta block seven. If they if sometimes they even hover, so you gotta block eight. Uh, all right. If they if they send seven and go leave them cover two stock. We'll, uh, we'll baby in route Edelman. Yeah, we missed it. Yeah. We might have to slide. Slide against it in this formation. Generically, though, in Mutt, I've had I've had no success picking it up. I've had no uh, trouble out of a seven-man block picking it up. But slide one way, ID the other. All right, so here's the blitz. Uh, slide one way. ID this guy. Whoops. Block the cost. There you go. Slide an ID. Baby in route. Finally. There you see that? Yeah, maybe maybe the other side of the field would have been better for the baby in route. So you had a check down and something to stop the user. So if we baby in route the left, slide ID, and then uh They set up their blitz. Yeah. Yeah, I go the baby inside inside right there. Whoops, we missed him. Uh throw it earlier or more accurately. So that's that's the way of bombing it deep, and then you have a check down underneath, but you have to have seven blocking that single one. But that's not like the only way, only thing you can do out of this. Obviously, there are other ways of stopping or or, or beating this play. Uh, when they when they blitz everybody. This is okay too, and then you motion an Edelman to help block. Um, against it. Oh, wait, wait, Edelman doesn't motion. Sorry, other other format. This one's not a good motion formation. Uh, uh, now I recall. Yeah, nice pick. All right, so that's not the greatest for motion. I got other stuff. Give me, give me. Some, once we get to the gun ace, I'll show you some stuff against it. But this other play deep in is good for like if you need a long conversion. This is exactly the same as like last year's um, Pats. You, you guys know the what, what's the. Pat's crosser play. Shoot, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. But right here, pretty solid setup. Either block both the tight end and the wide and the running back. I like to always block the running back. If you do this, if you block them both, and then you streak door set, slant Edelman, this kind of stuff, this is a good setup. Otherwise, you can use Lacoste as the clear out, or you can just drag him. And uh, you have this kind of setup too, depending on how many they're blitzing. But you get kind of sensitive part of the field right there. Wow, that was a really weird animation that we didn't die for it. Probably because I didn't do it correctly. But there you go. This is basically, you're looking at Gordon. You're basically looking at Crosser. So max protect, slant, streak. There you go. You got some time. Find your slant. You can, you can always... You can always uh, scramble too with, with that many blockers. If they don't rush a lot. So that's pretty good. Why off trio for that crosser. Um, next play here in that same formation. Why off trio. The slot option on the left beats off man coverage. So let's just try that. I'll just show it. I showed. I talked about this earlier. We'll just show it, I guess. Off man, uh, like cover one hole. If they're doing something like this, watch the Gordon route. See how see how we uh, just beat him on a double move. High route running, high speed, very important for that. Gordon's not the greatest on uh, either of those, but that will beat man coverage straight up. You can also do other things with the other players to kind of like be check downs. Like I say, baby in routes, drags, that kind of stuff. 
On that same formation, we have... What am I looking for? PA wide receiver in. Wheel route. Man coverage killer. Wheel route, wheel route, wheel route. Make sure and call wheel routes a lot. Um, you can also... Um, in the same one, PA wide receiver in, you can you can streak the tight end, drag the uh, outside guy, or drag the the wheel too if you want more of a levels concept. So if you here, I'll, I'll show you one. I'll show you one. If it's if against if it's against zone, so like say say the same thing, streak tight end. Say you want to do like this. Say you want to get some openings, then you just motion door set across. Oh, I guess he didn't want to motion across. That's right. I forgot bad motioning stuff. And you got B. B and B and X are, are pretty bad. Um Drag. I, mean, I just gotta make a quick note there. I should make I, I need to make a note in this formation that it's hard to uh not great not great at uh, motioning. All right, there you go. Uh, all right, so otherwise, yeah, the Z route is fine. The the is kind of like a uh, check down. Uh, sorry, the Z route is fine. It's kind of like to beat the uh, guys on uh, over top, basically, because uh, he didn't get recognized. Wow, Tom Brady got uh, sacked. All right, next play here. Halfback circle. What's crazy about this halfback circle, this is a very unique, it's kind of like a slant out route for the tight end. Um, something that you can do in a couple different ways. But that halfback circle, I uh, like we talk about halfback routes are very addicting for people. But the tight end route is, is kind of like a slant out. It's kind of cool, kind of nice. Um, you can even motion them out a little bit more, but it turns into a drag. So reset the play, and you got yourself a nice little slant out. So let's, let's watch a slant out in action. See, so it kind of like gets to the nice little glitchy part. He's kind of up the field a few yards. It's very similar. Like, so that's the slant out. And here is the uh, just straight flat. So here's the difference. See, I'll go straight out there. Um, so you a little bit more, you get a little bit more depth with the slant out, um, which is nice. It's just a couple more yards, but every single yard matters, right? Little transition up field there, stiff arm. You got four or five yards. The rest of the routes are just there. Like the, the, the halfback running route, if you look at Y, uh, upfield, it's okay. We weirdly missed them, bullet, pack, bullet pass accurate, but maybe that's maybe that's Tom Brady's pass lead elite. It's kind of like a wide receiver streak right there, or a halfback streak out of the backfield. A little slower, though. All right, next, oh, I talked about gun doubles. Gun ace is kind of what I want to get to to face this uh, meta right here. Pretty solid because the meta right now, like you know, is that big dime 146. And I want to show where we got hitch corners, inside zone. What are my other ones? PA comebacks. Kind of like. What am I looking for? Yeah, kind of like those. Those plays are fine. Actually, I kind of want to see 01 trap against it. I know inside zone works against it. Uh, but let's try. Let's show inside zone first. Okay. Uh, big dime one four six. Here is the meta blitz. DB sting buzz two. Press blitz all linebackers. QB contain. Right, and then they're kind of in a cover two. Now they can always adjust and stuff. Uh, they can put their user like right here. They can bring it down. You know, they, they man up him, shade over the top so they don't get beat over the top, and they kind of like user right here. So let me do this. I'll just snap the ball and I'll show you how it plays out. Do you see how you get yards there? So I wasn't using I wasn't using the running back at all right there. I was using my um, defender, but do you see how it kind of sets up nicely? Like most inside zones against this formation, don't like do a good job, right? They they kind of get shot past, but somehow 61 is able to like kind of reach him right there, so it works. Right there now, there are other ways to shoot gaps and stuff, but like it's it's oddly one of the inside zones that actually work in the game against this very glitchy, stupid defense. All right, so like they can always sit down here and wait for you. So this time, I'll just be on like this guy, 
and then I'll use the running back. So once you get through here, you get you get a nice little hole. So then that, it's very tough to use that defense if you can just get torn up uh, by that uh, inside zone. So let me let me try it again. Like they could they can make they could obviously make adjustments and stuff. But let me bring it. Yeah. All right. So if they bring like I don't know, I guess they could try and blitz more guys in the middle here. We'll do everybody blitzing. Uh, I guess like a pinch D line, pinch linebackers, try to do that, something like that, but that kind of screws up the blitz, but we'll see it. We'll, we'll, we'll t test it out against the inside zone here. Just inside zone boy versus nine in the box. All right, yeah, they got they got the line of scrimmage. Yeah, 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 so they did. They were able to use her. If you could break one tackle right there, but do you see how like the rest of them kind of like got picked up? Do you see how 75, do you see how those reach blocks happened and just turned them? 75 was essentially wiping this guy out. The front side was ours. Like, if this is an issue, 75 is kind of scraping around, but there's a couple decent, I don't know about, I don't know about decent holes right there. So they completely sell out to stop the run. Yeah, you might, you might not have any fun. If they blitz both those safeties, that might stop you. But we'll, 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 uh, we'll do some counter plays off this inside zone. All right. Oh, I didn't even try out the old one trap, did I? All right, so Ace, uh, I wonder if deep, deep Shot works. I wonder if it works. It probably doesn't, but you know what? Let's try. Live Lab, I guess. I never, I, I haven't tried to like beat this stuff deep. With Randy Moss, maybe. Maybe it works. It's like right there. See of this. Uh, did I forget to shade up? I know I had them, but maybe I didn't shade up enough. So they're they're okay. All right, they're just okay. But what I'm looking for, hitch corners are pretty good against this same thing. So you always want to have seven blocking. So one of the corners that uh, unfortunately goes away. You can always just make your read quick or whatever and get rid of it. You can always just like do something like this. Oh, sorry. And then throw low corners. So watch A. Oh wait, he, he didn't blitz. <laughs> he actually sat down. But basically, how you want to beat it is by uh, either throwing quick crossing patterns, running the ball, or uh, like this. Something like this. This would beat it pretty well. Uh, you might get some. You might get some issue off the left side. Uh, press, blitz, contain. Oh, that's really weird. That is, that got really weird right there for a second. But yeah, generally things like that work. So block seven, throw drags, out routes, uh, even even stuff like this. Like just just. You see how that just just a just in a curl route really works. Even if they have a guy on them. So. But I like that inside zone against it. Inside cross right there uh, is is pretty good. Inside cross, the problem with inside cross are the same formation is the fact that the Z routes aren't man beaters. So like if they if they go in the same blitz, if they go in the same blitz. Sorry, sorry. This blitz is not like there's been no like found perfect counter to this. So if they man them up, they man them up like that, right? And then say they I don't know man him up and then user him. I don't know. But like watch the Z routes, watch everything. Um, it doesn't like beat man that good. You see how the man's right there running it for you? Yeah, I got lucky on that, but unfortunately, it's not anything you can really like rely on. Whereas like Edelman, Edelman's a little bit better at beating man, but that's right where the user will be, right? Maybe, maybe not. Otherwise, throw out routes. Out routes are always pretty decent against this kind of stuff. I'm not setting up the blitz right now. I just want to show you guys. 
Yeah, he played that nicely. If he wasn't, if he wasn't, he wasn't covered two right there. But we'll get into other things to beat in just a second. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of like this one, the inside zone. Let's see what the O1 trap works. Nah, traps aren't good that. Traps aren't very good this year. If your running back has to beat them, eh, it's inconsistent. Even though I know how good running backs are this year uh, at, at beating guys one on one, uh, just like shedding them off them. Still inconsistent in my opinion. So Ace, what else do I like about Ace? Low thrown corner routes, PA comebacks, mm, and man coverage is okay. Corner strike, inside. So that's kind of it though. Inside zone is really nice, and then like the regular plays to beat it with uh, quick passing games. Like I say, slants, drags, corners, or or whatnot. That, I went through doubles, gun Y off, gun bunch tight end is one of my favorite formations in the game. Uh, between mesh, X spot, off tackles pretty good against that blitz too. Draw is not curl flat, nah. Curl flat was more powerful last year when we had more time in the pocket. Tight end corner is great. Inside switch, so let's go through it. Um, let's just go through PA all cross first, right? Follow is good near the goal line too. Um, what do I want to go against? Cover three. This is just this is crossers, right? Streak your tight end. Gordon, Edelman. I like having Edelman in like a uh, in route. You can motion him out. You can motion snap him. Don't matter. But basically, you're waiting for Y. Wow, that wasn't very good at all. Hopefully, you have more space there between your tight end um, and your player. Oh, this is a really good cover three beater. If they're in cover three, watch this. Hold my bear and watch this. Same thing as before. Streak. I like to play that pulse route to the, to the uh, stick. Motion him over. All right, this is your cover three beater setup. Should get you right over top. We got Edelman on again, unfortunately. Edelman sucks at cover three beaters because he's slow. Yeah, and we didn't have the blocking. But get somebody faster, so you got you know it doesn't take as long in the pocket. But you guys, you guys can see it, right? I'm not gonna show that again. Well, I will show it again in replay. Otherwise, you can do the same thing in Gun Bunch. There's Gun Bunch in this formation, this book too. You see how he's all, he's running to like an open field. Pass lead it out here. This guy is nowhere to be found. And this guy should be playing that streak. But yeah, basically it's 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 crossers, right? Crossers have fun with crossers. God, why looked open? That's crazy that that corner doesn't match uh, the tight end. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, there there are other there. Are, I'll show you another cover three beater. Um. Give me a second. All right, so that's that's crossers. What else do I have? Mesh. Mesh is really cool, especially if you have somebody that you can put on a post pattern. There you go. Oh, sorry, Edelman post pattern. Throw him up there. Something like this. That is beautiful. Then you can always just motion him out too. Snap. Drags are open. X. And I don't have time. I think they get. I think they get better sheds whenever you touch the left left uh, stick. Uh, but otherwise, what was it? Mesh? Mesh concepts, powerful. I like mesh concepts that have like a post or a, a streak with them too. Just in case, in case they get greedy, you can always streak off them. X got covered. B didn't wasn't far enough away for a, uh, a a one play there on a safety. He could have clicked on and made a play. Um. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to put. Otherwise, you know, there's always the classic wheel route, tight end action. That's that's a good goal line play. Wow, we completely missed it. Pass the elite sucks. I hate that. Uh, follow. Follow's the same way I showed follow out of the goal line. Out of uh, goal line play. So if you're going to run off tackle, then you can do follow. Same setup. Well, I guess slightly different. Well, I'll show it to you. Cover four, drop show four. You'll see this near the goal line. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna take the time. All you do is put Gordon on a flat route, Lacoste on a flat route, and the running back on a wheel route. Um, and it could be either near side or far. Generally, far side actually works better. Let's go to the far side. Far side for those wheel routes is basically what you need. A little bit better on the spacing. So here's the setup. You can either throw the low route to Dorset, or throw the wheel route. People generally be in hard flats at the goal line to stop you getting the low passes. And you kind of just take that right there. Um, but otherwise, I'll throw I'll throw the same setup. I'll throw the 
uh, trail route now. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't go hard flats. Throw the... Make a read, guys. Don't be like me. Because he didn't, he didn't uh, shade underneath there, my drag would have been open. All right, let's do it again. Same setup. He's in hard flats now. You got to throw it a little earlier, but yeah, there it was. So just imagine that's the goal line. All right. Uh, follow, but follow. Otherwise, otherwise, just like in the middle of the field, it's not bad either. Right? Drag open. Otherwise, just throw the follow, depending on where the user is. It's not going to get you a lot of yards, but it's a short yard conver conversion play. All right. Now, very, let's go to a powerful play. Very powerful. So there are two different corner routes in this thing, and you have to know which one you want, whether you want to face... If you don't have play, if you don't have a player with hot route, X spots route beats man coverage amazingly, but the tight end corner one, this corner route beats zone coverage better. So let me let me show you what I'm saying. So let's go tight end corner, and let's do cover two. Let's actually go to the wide side where I like it a little bit better uh, because it's more effective against the wide side. But do you see how that? Uh, watch this out route dragged out. Sorry, drag down the corner route. So the out route drags him down, and then you basically have that. It's not as it's not as good as it should have been. Why wasn't that very good? It wasn't that open. Maybe I should streak him. Yeah, let's try this. Oh, we're getting really good. They're getting really good bumps on us. Yeah, there, that's open. Um, hmm, weird. Weird that it isn't isn't dragging it down as much. Yeah, I wonder if that was slightly patched. That could have been slightly patched a couple patches ago. Uh, where they react up a little bit more. And they don't get uh, bullied down on out routes on these kind of sets. So now now look at these routes. These are corner routes that are hot routes. Do you see Dorset? Do you see the change? Alright, so look at look at Dorset's route right there and that corner route that it's on. And then once I reset the play. Do you see how, do you see how there's a little bend there? That little bend there makes all the difference against man coverage. So watch this against man coverage. We'll do Overstorm Brave. Uh, yeah, we'll just play it like that. And then we'll max protect to give some time. So watch this against man coverage. See how it's see how it's like he's running step for step almost? Okay. Now watch these these routes from a tight from a hot route master or a slot apprentice. Now watch this against that same play. So this is the same route or a very similar route that you're gonna see in um, the next play. I'll show you. Do you see how much further away you got? That's a throwable ball. That one you won't be able to click on and make a play on for the defense. All right. So that's kind of the difference. If you, if you know you're facing zone, I would come out in this in this play right there because there's some good crossing pattern and stuff. You don't have that. You don't have to have the hot route master for. But if you are facing man coverage, X spot's the way to go. Stick doesn't work as well, but watch X spot against the same man. Uh, Overstorm Brave. Watch the X spot. You can't really see it actually because of B, but just watch it play. Wow, that actually got that actually got locked down. That was that was sad. <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about, you dumbass? The X spot generally, with good enough route running, will get open. That yeah, we're getting toasted. We're, we're we're not getting any any separation at all. So, hmm, I don't think Dorset's route running is good enough. So that's gonna be high route runner to get that really open. But anyways, because of because of how powerful this corner route is, doesn't matter what your route running is. Watch watch it. Oh, he got bumped. Jeez, we're getting locked. The only shit I'm saying is is working. Don't get bumped, dog. There you go. Hot route master. But yeah, basically high route running guys are super effective. Um, but yeah, tight end corner. Tight end corner is really nice because there's so many adjustments you can make with the post pattern. Um, you, can, you can drag him, motion him across. It's not as good against man coverage, but here I'll show you the action that we're getting. Yeah. Heavy pressure, but it's better against zone. Tampa 2, streak, drag, it's like this, whoops, 
I did the wrong thing. There you go. Uh, okay. Next, oh, what's the other one? Streak. On the tight end corner. Streak, middle wide receiver, drag tight end, and outside receiver. Motion inside, and then motion him out. Here's a good one. Motion slants are great against man coverage or motion posts. That stuff so they don't get a good uh, bump on you is also really nice. Uh, motion the wide receiver across. I showed that one. Motion the middle receiver. Show that inside. Wait, middle receiver. Did I, did I show the middle receiver motion? Middle receiver, drag tight and outside receiver. Motion inside out left. Oh, yeah, yeah I kind of did that one. All right, next play. Inside switch. I like inside switch, like, just stop. This is really good inside switch stock you got a flat route a corner route but this is this is kind of what i i want to show you all right street gordon i'm fine leaving that guy out where he's at but sometimes i like i like motioning out edelman on the same play so you go flat routes open there to be rb yeah and then we just got sacked so rb depends on where the user is rb the corner route to lacoste Another one of those corner routes that, that get a little open. I guess he wasn't that open as they, they kind of got down on him. It's a little open. Not the greatest corner. Maybe something like this corner might be a little bit better. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, Hot Rod Master is so nice for those corners. And then, of course, across the middle, if they go if they go and use that guy, if they go and use the corner... That's when you have either the streak route or this Edelman route coming back across the, across them. Like if if they if they were to use her, you see how where X was, you either throw it to the X or that uh, kind of curl guy. Good old curl boy. Otherwise, you just you can do a little. Uh, you can do a hitch. Hitch is always nice. Hitches are even easier. Low throw hitches if you're under pressure. It's a great play. Low throw hitches. Um, yeah, I, I have a setup for the curl flat corner, but because you get so little time in the pocket this year and other corner routes will get open, it's not as needed. You won't need it as deep. Uh, because last year, like, Cloud Flats played a little deeper, so you needed that deeper corner to get open. This year, you can kind of run shorter corners and get them open. So curl flat corner, it's st I still have a play for it, but it's not that good. Um, X spot, X spot. Actually, I want to. I want to. The X spot, the tight end route is really interesting. Not many people. If if you come out doing stuff like uh, throwing corner routes and stuff to your tight end, once they snap it, if they're like, if they see the tight end move out, they're gonna move out there, and then boom, you have you have an open tight end throw right there. Even if they're using it because they're so used to the running of the tight end on that corner, it's really interesting that you also get back over the middle of the field, basically free and clear. And then the rest of the play is just set up streak, out route. Um, on this side of the field and you can you know play them to the, the sticks or whatever and then you basically just that same same action that we saw before throw that corner out if they end up perfectly user in the middle of the field all right i think that's kind of what i want to show off I, like i say i have all those strong eye uh weak eye stuff too in the playbook but i'm not going to go over that because i don't i don't fuck, fuck running the ball is the basis of your offense but it is you, you will need to run the ball still keep them uh, decidedly uh, uh, for it. Halfback, oh, halfback off tackle. Here's some things I want to show against the Blitz, too. Sorry. Halfback off tackle will work. Um, of course, if they have a god tier user, it might not. Uh, but let's just, I'll just show this how this works. So, run it. Run it. He shot right in, right? Shot right in. Rip! Okay, so how do you stop a shot right in? A little bit of, of Rita in your mind. No, you basically need to like do a slight little motion. It's kind of weird, but uh, let's set up the blitz with this controller. Now I'm not perfect at this, as this hasn't been this hasn't been my uh, offense in a little bit. But I think if you motion, I want, is, do you think the inside guy, or the outside guy? Why do I forget? Yeah, I think it might be. I mean, I might have to motion in the outside guy just slightly. On that run. Let me try it again. I don't remember. 
perfectly, but there is something here. I remember it because it has worked. Damn, missed him again. One of those two, experiment with it. <laughs> but if you can get that run to work, you can get uh, a lot of things to work off this formation because they'll have to respect it with their user. Didn't get it again. I don't, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just better in Gun Bunch. Maybe Gun Bunch tight end doesn't have it. Maybe I gotta go over to Gun Bunch in order to run that same play. Feels bad, man. Gun Bunch, it's in this book. But Gun Bunch is... Wait, what am, why am I thinking Gun Bunch? Gun Bunch tight end. Weird. Alright, so the only really effective run there will the ace inside zone. I could have swore I had that working in Gun Bunch tight end one day. Maybe they set it up wrongly. But yeah, like I say, against that against that meta blitz, it's a good idea to kind of get under center with it. A slot is okay. Your trips, your trio, either running toss, toss around it, or the stretch. It's pretty sweet. Otherwise, A slot, stretch, dive. Y slot. Stretch is okay. And then there's like a post route that I wanted to show. Where was it? I don't think it was ace post route. Where was that? Ace slot? Yeah, PAFL stretch. Same thing. Did I, I don't think I showed this one, did I? Against the meta. Like I say, if you see this, you want to run the ball. But if you don't like running the ball, here you go. Block. Like, so with this, generally I like blocking the running back twice. Because you see how his angle changes from the left to the middle. So that's pretty hot. Um, and then you can either block or send out Lacoste or Izzo. We'll block Izzo for now. And then uh, do something like this. So his user either has to cover that B route. He has to man it up, or you check it down to the X route underneath. But you pick it up okay. You don't have to make any of the adjustments. But you pick it up. Once you have that running back double blocked, you pick it up. I do have Tom Brady, I think, has protected, so you might get, you have a little bit more time in the pocket than normal. But, God, that's so crazy that this guy knows I'm running an in route. He knows I'm running an in route. So he's there before I am. How insane is this game? Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, like, if I run... If this guy runs straight and he's breaking inside... I got that whole sideline of the field. Sideline of the field. Weird. This game, it's, it's something special in it, boys. I don't know how they make psychic DBs, but they do. Oh, uh, but yeah. Dot or middle dot or just throw the out route dot. Or you can just do double drags and or slant drag, that kind of stuff. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.